Hey, what's going on guys? This is Jack with DJI Drone Service, and today our tech Carmen broke down a Mavic Mini controller. This request was from a DJI Mavic Pilots forum. Huge shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for the support you guys have been giving us recently. And let's jump right into this repair. So the first step to getting this job done is to remove these two 1.5 millimeter hex screws located on the bottom left and bottom right hand corner of the controller. Once you have both of those screws removed, you can begin removing the covers that the screws were holding down. Once those covers are removed, let's begin removing this bottom plate on the controller. Now that that bottom plate is removed, it reveals two screws. There's gonna be one on the left-hand side and one on the right-hand side. Go ahead and remove both of those screws. This is necessary to complete the repair. Once those two screws are removed, let's unplug these joystick connectors. There's again gonna be two of them, one on the left and one on the right. Now that those joysticks are unplugged, let's get this faceplate off the controller. Now that the faceplate is removed, it reveals our ribbon cable that we need to unplug. It's gonna be located right up top on the right hand corner. Once we have that ribbon cable unplugged, let's get this battery unplugged. All right, so now that we have the battery, let's move on to the gimbal dial and unplug that as well. That'll be located in the bottom left-hand corner. All right, so now that we have all those unplugged, let's begin to get this LED board slash power board out of there. So there's gonna be two screws on the top right-hand corner and two screws on the top left-hand corner. So now that those four screws are removed, we can safely take out this little thin board. This is where the power button, return to home button, and your battery LED indicators are. All right, so let's begin to remove this battery tray. There's gonna be four screws held in, holding this into place. There's gonna be one in the bottom left, one in the bottom right, one in the top left, and one in the top right. Once those four screws are removed, we can safely remove this battery connect, or this battery holder. Now that the battery holder is out of our way, let's begin to remove the two antenna connectors. Once we have the two antenna connectors removed, we can now begin to remove these three Phillips screws on the left-hand side. All right, now that we have those three screws removed, there's gonna be three more on the right-hand side. So now that those screws are removed, we can fully remove this main board. This is where the microphone slash beeper will be located on the main board. So if you'd like to remove that so you don't have to hear that annoying beeping when the battery gets low, this is the spot where you can do that. All right, so now let's begin the reassembly process. We're basically just gonna go in reverse. So we're gonna just put that main board back in there and then reinstall the six screws holding it in place. All right, so now that we have the main board in, let's make sure we plug in the gimbal dial and attach our two antennas back to the main board. Now that those are in place, let's get this battery holder back in place. There's only the four screws, the one in the bottom right, top right, bottom left, and top left.
Don't forget to plug that battery in though. So let's get our LED board slash power board back in there. Again, there's four screws that hold this in place. Top right and top left. All right, so now we are pretty much done here. Let's get the faceplate back onto the controller, plug back in our joysticks, and reassemble the last couple of parts. All right, so now that we have our bottom plate back on the controller, we can now reinstall the covers and get those two screws back into place. So we're pretty much wrapping it up here, guys. The controller is back together. We're gonna power this guy back on and make sure everything's working. Before you can power the controller back on, though, we're gonna have to plug it into a charger and let it go through a reboot sequence. This is gonna happen anytime you unplug the battery from your controller. So go ahead and plug it into a, to a five volt outlet. You'll see the drone or the controller turn on and then begin charging. Once you see it begin charging, you know you're ready to turn the controller on and make sure everything's still working. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this helped you out. If you have any comments, questions, feel free to leave those down in this comment section below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.